They can be an extremely valuable resource on wildland fires. That's because these helicopters can go where firefighters can't safely go. Why West Metro crews are out here training and more in this West Metro Minute. Jeffcom 911, what is the address of the emergency? I'm right along the oak brush edge. You'll see two orange panels. West Metro firefighters working with a helicopter pilot to make pinpoint water drops. This training with the Douglas County Office of Emergency Management allowed crews from several districts to practice with air resources often utilized on wildland fires. Helicopters are valuable tools because they can go into areas where it's too steep or dangerous for ground crews and get in front of a fast-moving flame front. This training will help our firefighters operate more quickly and efficiently in the event of a fire in West Metro's district. He's breathing still. Uh, yeah, he's breathing. It's not a real baby, but it certainly acts like one. This mannequin can breathe and cough, and it has a heartbeat and a pulse, courtesy of high-tech software. Our firefighters are training with emergency room doctors from St. Anthony Hospital to recognize symptoms and treat pediatric patients. While 70% of our calls are emergency medical calls, our crews don't often treat children. This realistic training will help them be more proficient in critical and time-sensitive situations. Our Company 4 B-Shift crew had a visit from a patient they last saw on Green Mountain after she had been bitten by a rattlesnake. Jessica Kursky was mountain biking when she rounded a curve on the trail and saw a snake coiled up in the middle of the path. Two off-duty nurses, Ray Porter and Heather Woodworth, found her, called 911, and stayed with Jessica. The two nurses received a West Metro Citizen Award for their assistance on the call. Whether fighting wildland fires or performing a prescribed burn like this one, safety always comes first. Potential dangers to firefighters could be steep terrain, strong winds, a fast-moving fire, or in this case, wildlife. When this bison walked through a prescribed burn operation at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal, firefighters took a tactical pause to allow the animal to get by. A West Metro crew, along with crews from other fire districts, were assisting in the burn with the goal of clearing out invasive weeds to lessen fire danger and improve wildlife habitat. And that's just some of what's going on here at West Metro. For more information, please visit our website, westmetrofire.org.